if this is your first time visiting the channel make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell that way you know when i upload my videos to youtube this is ngn nerd guy news where all nerds collide the x-men one of the most diverse factions in the marvel universe and apparently the internet is in an uproar because speculation says Marvel wants to make Magneto and Professor X choices of color. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Professor Charles Xavier also known as Professor X, leader of the X-Men. And then you also have Eric Lancher, or Eric Maximoff. He has many different aliases, but he's also known as Magneto, leader of the Brotherhood of Mutants. Both are powerful leaders, both are very liberal, and both are fighting for the same cause, mutant rights. But Marvel seems that they want to change these characters and give them a different color. And what I mean by a different color, they want to change them into African-American males. And this is where I feel like Marvel is what I like to say, what some people like to say right now, Marvel is woke. Um, but... I don't think this is a wise choice on Marvel's move uh, simply because it's the source material. Stick with the source material. Um, I've always said this about every comic book movie, um, any superhero movie, always stick to the source material. And I feel like this is not going to be a, um, a very positive thing for the MCU if they decide to change this uh, for the future X-Men movies. Uh, I feel that I feel that these characters need to stay who they are. And I understand Stan Lee made these characters based off of two African American males who fought for black civil rights. Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X. And if you look at the diversity between Malcolm X and Martin Luther King Jr., Professor X and Magneto, you see the, the similarities in the comparison. It's clear as, as night and day that Stan Lee based those characters off, off the black civil rights leaders. And um, I'm, I'm black. I just want y'all guys to know I'm black. I'm African-American. And I don't feel like this would be a wise choice coming from Marvel. I just don't feel like this would be the best move. And the reason why I say that is, if you look at the X-Men, they're already diverse enough as it is. I mean, you have Wolverine, who's basically Canadian. You have Jean Grey, who is Native American. Cyclops, who's basically Native American. You have Nightcrawler, who is, um, I think he's like German. Um, he's blue and German. You have Beast, who's basically, um, he seems to be a little bit more English than anything. And you have Storm, who's African-American. So there's many different, there's many different diversities already with the X-Men. And to change the leaders of the X-Men and make them choices of color, I don't feel like that is coming from the source material. Now, sure, if it's from if it's from the comic books, if you look at the comic books now within the Marvel Universe, you have Riri Williams, who is now the black Iron Man, female Iron Man. You have Jane Foster, who is now female Thor. You have Amadeus Cho, which is the Asian version of the Hulk. You have Sam Wilson, who is the black version of Captain America. You have all these different characters and the list goes on and on you have all these different characters and 
that's that's enough diverse right there as it is so for marvel to make the choice of changing the source material i don't feel like that would be i don't feel like that would be legitimate to them i don't feel like that would benefit them if it was in the comic books sure i could see them making the transition from the comic books over to the mcu because that's what they're doing now in the mcu right i mean they're changing up all the characters um, they're bringing in the new Avengers and the new Avengers are, you know, different races, different colors. They come from different backgrounds. So it's easier to change something that's already been established in the comics and have it transferred over to live action. But to take the source material and manipulate it and put a twist on it. Yeah, it's creative. It's very generic. I like that. But. A lot of people, I mean, the X-Men has been around for the the longest I've been reading comics for 25 years. I'm currently 28 years old, and I do not see Professor X and Magneto black. I just don't see it happening. I don't think Marvel is going to benefit from that at all. So my thing is keep the characters the way they are. Maybe put a twist on them somewhere here and there, you know, to give it a big surprise for all the fans in the fandom, the Marvel fandom. But to change them into African-American male leaders of the X-Men, I don't see that. I don't really see that happening. I don't really think that's going to happen. So that's just my my thoughts on that. I don't think that, that that's going to happen in the MCU. Maybe in the comics first, but in the MCU now, I don't see that happening. Um. And as I said before, the X-Men are very diverse as it is. You have so many different rosters of characters and diverse characters on the X-Men teams. Because a lot of people don't understand the X-Men is one big faction itself. But the roster changes up so much. Like A lot of people don't realize or comprehend that the X-Men are just as big as the Avengers. Their team roster change so much the diversity changes so much and i honestly believe that this new x-men reboot coming forward in the mcu i honestly believe that is going to be it's going to be a fresh look for the x-men it's going to be something that we've never seen before it's going to be the x-men that we've all been waiting for can you imagine seeing a rebooted version of Wolverine, a rebooted version of Jean Grey and Colossus and all of them. Like, it's going to be so amazing to see all these characters come together on the big screen. And then eventually, we'll get something amazing out of this. Maybe even something bigger. Maybe Avengers versus the X-Men. You know, but just getting back on topic here, as far as Marvel changing the color of Professor X and Magneto... I don't think that would be a great idea at this time. Maybe somewhere later on down the road. Sure, why not? Uh, especially if they, you know, the comics get rebooted and, or maybe something in a, a different alternate reality or something in the comics and then transition it over to uh, live action to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yes, I could see that working. But as of right now, I cannot see X-Men with two black leaders i just don't see that happening i just think marvel needs to stick to the source material but anyway guys if you enjoy what you saw make sure you smash that subscribe button hit that notifications bell that way you know when i upload my videos to youtube this is my new youtube channel called ngn nerd guy news where all nerds collide so make sure you guys Smash that like button. Show me some love and I'll show you some love. I will also be doing some special giveaways as well. If we can reach 1,000 subscribers, guys, 1,000, I will do a special giveaway to somebody on the channel. All you have to do is comment below. Tell me your favorite superhero, their favorite superpower. And um, I would do a raffle on who is going to win this big prize I'm going to be giving away. So... Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Nerd Logic. Stay super. Catch you next time.